Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. Let's take a look at a huge update, a huge network upgrade coming out of Verizon. I was downtown and I was doing some testing on Verizon's uh, millimeter wave nodes down at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, downtown CLE, and I picked up a new band that I've never seen before, uh, and that's Band 49. Uh, upon further inspection and a little bit of homework, I was able to identify Band 49 as CBRS being utilized by Verizon. Now, that's not new to Verizon. Verizon has been using CBRS uh, for a while now. It's been at least a year, and I've been able to connect to it. But I've been picking it up as Band 48, and I've been picking it up mostly for downlink. So this is a little bit different. So as I was testing it on these nodes, I was able to identify that the nodes were indeed Samsung gear. It was picking up N260 millimeter wave. That's a 39 gigahertz super high frequency wavelength. And um, it was running a single channel of 100 megahertz, all right, just to let you know what the configuration is. The NSA portion of 5G means that it uses LTE as an anchor. So in that situation, the uplink was over LTE, which was band 49 when I was using the service mode, which is CBRS. So this is 3.55 gigahertz to 3.7 gigahertz general access, unlicensed, you know, CBRS. So it's first come, first serve. It's unlicensed, so any carrier can use it. Any private networking, you know, it's available, they can use it too. Now, when I ran the speed test, I was able to get almost two gigabits per second on the downlink, and I was getting 41.6 megabits per second on the uplink. So this is the first I've seen of CBRS Band 49 utilized for uplink in a 20 megahertz channel configuration. So when I did a little bit of digging around of what these frequencies are used for, uh, the Band 49 version, the CBRS, it's shared spectrum with Earth satellite stations. Uh, previously, like I had said before, I had only connected to Band 48, and it was mostly on downlink. I, I can't remember if I ever picked it up for uplink. So, you know, this is obviously a huge development in what Verizon is going to be doing in certain places. You know, look out for it in, in your markets. You know, they, you can clearly see that Verizon is trying different combinations of licensed spectrum and unlicensed spectrum, but it's bringing them huge capacity in these applications. Again, these are millimeter wave nodes. These are CRAN sites. So they're small cells that are up on, you know, light poles and 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 these these smaller, app, you know, height applications. Uh, I, I can't say that they're doing this on macro sites, but I can confirm in the CLE downtown they're doing it on the millimeter wave nodes and these CRAN and these macro cells, micro cells, excuse me. So this is super exciting. This is obviously going to boost downlink speeds. It might help with range. Uh, it's obviously going to be a huge boost for uplink. Uh, I think the next step to see is maybe if we can get carrier aggregation on the uplink in these applications, that improves the uplink capacity tremendously. And who knows, maybe next time I do some testing, we'll see the channel widen. Right? Maybe we'll see the CBRS on the uplink, the band 49, go to 40 megahertz or even 60. I don't know. It really just depends on how much is available in the area. And I haven't really dug around enough to see who's using what and how much is available for you know, commercial networks to use like Verizon. But Verizon never rests. I think this goes to show you that they are thinking outside the box. They're doing a lot. They're innovating within the network technology. This is super exciting. And I can't wait for the next generation of smartphone that can actually do more with these networks. So I'm very excited. The next generation Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, who knows what Apple's going to bring to the table with their configuration. Very excited. Let me know what you guys think of this, especially for those of you out there that have any type of network engineering or RF backgrounds. I'd love to hear what you have to say about the Band 49 piece you know, and, and, and how you see it and, and Verizon's application. Uh, go ahead and anybody out there, sound off in the comment section. Let me know what you guys have to say on this. Let me know what you think of the testing. And uh, I'd love to get your perspective and thoughts on it. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.